Welcome to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're going to continue my Let's Play with only one character now, Timo. You just died last episode, <laughs> so it's going to be pretty rough. Let's do a weapon cache so we can gain some additional weapons and armor. Now we're going to gain superior medium ooh, or a sword. Let's check the sword first. So at the moment, no. Ah, oh, sorry, that was a mistake on my part. I thought I was clicking on him to equip the weapons, but whatever. So these dragon cards are going to give us money. So we're going to go buy cards and then on the next one we can go to the drunken guards and gain the new stuff. We could get another solid footing. Reckless 8, apply 15 uh, armor to an ally. Active character and the ally both gain winded. Double team. Gain 6 armor and 1 charge. If character has any neighbors on the same race, they all gain. We don't have any of that. I guess I'll grab the Reckless 8. And... Now we'll do the Drunken Guards to gain money. I really need to get to a tower so that I can get a new character. This allows us to heal a character and also potentially avoid combat. But I'm, I'm gonna do combat. I wanna get this equipment service to zero and see what happens when we do that. What? You gotta be kidding me. And we've got no protection too. Let's use a setup on one of these. I'm gonna use... Bloodlust, then Invigorating Blow. Didn't do enough damage to actually be helpful. And then I guess we'll use Tide Formation because we need to protect ourselves. They're gonna hit us pretty hard here though. I mean, not, it's not that bad. We've got 40 HP still. Alright. We'll start this off with round shield and take cover on ourselves so we get 15 protection then we'll use no mercy this guy will die just from the poison now the thing is i cannot i have to use a strike first on this one and now i can use the corrosive enamel otherwise it would um they would get the retaliate which would be really really bad for us this one is dead. These two are gonna hit me for six, so we're fine. I have to say, I feel like I'm playing way better if I only have one character. <laughs> this guy is gonna die from poison, so we're only gonna have one left. Ah, okay, so no mercy actually hit him, but that's okay. We'll use the falcon. And a... S uh, actually, no. Well, I I'm gonna have to use the strike. But the bleeding is gonna kill him, so he's not gonna hit us. Anyways. No one can gain vigor. This could be useful. Deal five damage if this breaks the target armor. We gain additional thing. Deal five damage if opponents in background. Now we're gonna grab the second win because we do have some more expensive cards these days. So hesitation knife merchant or Bla let's do Blackfoot. We don't really need to heal, but I just want to avoid these other options. Blackfoot Weasel brandishes his eyes on a foul looking concussions under his cloak. These beauties are for some under gold cloaks, but it looks like you could use some of this. For the pain, that is. And see a familiar looking bottle, carefully armored with fine crafted leather. It's my last bottle. Right, well, you don't really have much choice. Days foul enough that you wonder if you really did just poison your offering thanks you look up to find him already vanished. Now, I do wonder from the voiceover if maybe. Um. If it's possible that uh, you actually get hurt there, you need to get new party members, like we've got no choice. We can look at them before we choose them, so let's look at this one. So we could get a mouse that has blessed. Start each combat with plus two will, a spear, and then outnumber, deal weapon damage if opponent has no allies on ring, deal weapon damage twice more, that's amazing. Pick any card from a drop us, place it at the top of the pile also pretty cool alternatively we could pick one of these this guy is patient this is really good because this allows to draw additional card got a short bow move to the front rank deal eight damage if unable to move plus one stamina spawns hit and run i don't know what hit and run does but it seems interesting apply fall win for one time whenever the target takes damage they gain one poison so this would get allows to second on, on poison i really like this one i might grab him whenever this character deals damage the damage is doubled takes down by one at the end of the 
each turn, but he only gained when an ally died. Now let's pick the wolf in the middle. Now we're not going to call him Jujus because Jujus is gone and it would be unfair to call the new wolf after the previous one. Instead we're going to call him Arcus. The wolf is dead. Long live the wolf. Arcus. Let's grab him. Alright, let's uh, enter a hideout. It's time. It's a trap again. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. Let's see if Teemo and Arcus can do better than Teemo and Jujus. So, 20 damage to Teemo, 10 damage to Jujus. So we're protected at the moment. We're gonna start this off with... Oh, we can actually get rid of this and we don't want to give him Retaliate. So we'll start this off with one guard on one of these so we can get rid of their armor. Then we'll use Invigorating Blow and blood loss. And now my edit character is going to use the corrosive enamel. Do 15 damage. And that's it. That's the only thing we can do. You do have enough guard at the uh, enough armor at the moment, but we'll see if it actually remains that way. I don't know. Okay. We'll start this off with round shield and take cover on the other one. Now we're going to use second wind so the tight formation is free. Then we could we could use a setup to give vulnerable to that guy in the back. And now we shall use a short bow which is going to give us additional stamina and spawn hit and run. Hit and run deal weapon damage 8 if active card is in the front ring apply 3 bleeding and move to the back rank. That actually seems like a good decision because I think we might evade some of the attacks that they would have on us otherwise. Now we're gonna use one guard. Oh, one guard's actually bad, but I guess we use it anyway. A regular guard, and that's it. And then we'll use momentum just to gain charge for future reference. Should have used the one guard first and then move back. But I do like this moving back and forth though. Though I think, does that mean that if he's in the back rank that he will not have a turn? Because he was in the back rank and now we're gonna alternate our turns. In that case, that's probably a bad decision. No, it seems like we actually can use our stuff. We'll see. So we'll start here with... Uh, maybe second wind. And then we'll use... We'll use Reckless, reckless Aid on our... Oh, we have, we have to use it on the other one, okay? And then we could use Solid Footing. And my other character is going to start with No Mercy, then Trauma. Then he's going to withdraw to move himself there. And then we'll continue with the Guard. So this means that we should evade the attacks that would have been on him because... Ooh, this guy has 3 Retaliate, that's not ideal. And 11 charge, so he's going to be doing... 22 damage. That's really, really bad. So, we'll start this off with... Foul Wind on this guy. And we'll do Falcon. Oh, he still has the turtle. So then we'll do Guard. I guess we'll have to do Strikes on the other one then. Strike. And No Mercy. We will get hit here a lot. Actually, not that much. But we get worse than it was. We did get hit here a little bit, but like I said, nothing too crazy. He has seven things, so I think I'd like to really use a wind throw if I can. But we'll do it in a moment. We'll start this off with, I think... If I use a second win, and then I use a setup for free on this big one. Then my other character is going to use round shield and take cover to itself. And then invigorating blow. One guard. Another one guard. And I'm thinking guard. And that's it. And my other character is going to use uh, tight formation poison. Let's use trauma and reckless aid. 
on it on, on the other one for sure. So we gain a really really good block here. I love that we have 16 poison. So this character will just die next turn by itself. All well, we have to do worry about this one, we only have to do like one damage. No mercy. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what we do now. Because they should yeah, we're just gonna end our turn, they're gonna die with their poison and things like that. That was really cool. I'm so happy with that. And we're getting new equipment too. Deal 3 vitality damage for every stack of bleeding? No. Every time you move, gain 5 charge. Every time you move an opponent, deal 5 damage. Uh, is this gonna remain for the rest of the combat? I think so. Mirror an opponent's armor stacks. I like the challenge. I think the challenge could be good. Superior light armor, medium armor. I think what we have is actually better. What do you have? You have superior medium armor. Yeah, so we actually, this is not useful for us right now. That's okay. You're near leveling up with Arcus. Ooh, so we finished the thing. So we can either choose wealth to gain money, excellence to gain level up or unity. I think we're gonna go with healing. Uh, how is my 33 out of 48? I do want to know if I should go... F uh, we'll do a level up. We'll do a level up on... On Teemo. Now. What, what is he gonna gain? He's gaining new passive. At the start of a turn, this character has no allies on the rank, gain 15 armor and 1 stamina. On turn 9, double the stacks of poison on all opponents. Whenever this character receives damage, the attacker gains 1 poison. So both of these would allow us to double, double up on the poison build, which I would really, really enjoy. So the question is, do we think we can play defensively enough to last nine turns? Or would we rather that if we fail at playing defensively, we at least do more poison to him? I think we're gonna go with the toxic, because I'm not quite sure if I'm patient enough to wait for nine turns. I don't know how long it typically takes, takes me, but... Um, Let's do a regular combat. I'm worried that I didn't heal him, but uh, yeah, we'll try. Right, uh, mirror an opponent's stack. So we're gonna start this off. Who is everybody attacking, first of all? So 816 attack on Timo, 9 attack to uh, Arcus. So we're gonna have Timo challenge this enemy's armor. Then we're going to use a sharpened steel on this one, let's say. No mercy as well. Then a strike and a stri uh, and a strike, I guess. Unfortunately, we can't use, do anything with my other character, but it's still good because the poison, uh, because Timo is applying the poison, the other character is not. Jujus is not doing anything like that. So it's better to use Jujus to attack if we can. All right. Who is everybody attacking now? 16 attack to Juju's, 6 attack to Timo. So Juju's is the one who's going to need the solid footing. So we'll start this off with one guard on this monster. Then we'll use the solid footing. Then we'll use, actually, no, okay, I'm going to use the bloodlust. We'll use second wind so that we can use setup on, not on this character because we can kill him easily, but on the other one. Then we'll use second win again we gain round shield okay so i guess we'll use the round shield for, for for free then we'll use withdraw and we'll move him this way so we can avoid some attacks and we'll keep using guard i was kind of hope well actually we can kill this guy between the poison and the bleeding just the right amount i'm glad i put well the vulnerable is only at one now i don't know if that was the best decision but whatever we did at least await some of these attacks oh we get four boy four poison on timo and I don't think the toxic applies because it's from the bleeding and not from the attacker. All right. We'll start this off with foul wind on this main enemy. Then we use a one guard. I would like to get rid of his damage so that this corrosive enamel would not give the retaliate. We actually can do that. So I'm actually not going to play the corrosive enamel because it's just not worth it. We don't want the retaliate is just too strong. We don't want to do it. 
I'm just not okay with that. Alright, we'll start with the falcon damage on him. Trauma, sure. Invigorating blow, okay. Rush. Tight and tight formation. And the edit character is now going to use a short bow. Hit and run. And reckless aid, because why not? Nice. Next turn, this guy will almost die. Yeah, now he's gonna die just from the poison. So we're not gonna do anything, just let him die. We got no healing card, so there's no point to even check it. It's just it. Remove all bleeding on target ally, apply 5 block. No. It is good, but the problem is if you're not having bleeding on yourself, it's just going to pollute your deck. Let's do the crazy weasel. The weasel babbles at passersby, splitting them with spittle from his foaming mouth. He's clearly alarmed but struggling to make sense. The weasel babbles at you with a many grin on his face before splitting into a fit of gas. Wanna find a face of yourself? <laughs> weasel can help? <laughs> Let's transform a skill card, sure. We could transform a guard into something else. Let's try that. Or do we... Let's transform a momentum. We're not really using that card much. Into a brace. Into... In, or a Kimbo. Do you, uh, let's do the Invigorating Blow. It's also a free cost, but it's actually going to do some damage this time. Quick Round is healing. Exquisite Weapon. A chance to upgrade. We haven't done that yet. Let's do that. You see a few folk get it on this lonely black street. Blimey, that stairs beauty, one exclaims. Your interest is peaked. You see a beaver brandishing what looks to be an extremely fine weapon. I found it while I was out with the city of Boren. Out the city with Boren. What do you think it will sell for? Perhaps maybe I should keep it. Let's ruin a card to keep it. We're gonna ruin one guard. I think it's gonna mean that we're gonna give ourselves five armor but lose one damage. And we get an expert bow. So let's look at the bow we have. Spawns to rapid fire. So this will now deal 10 damage. So this is going to be essentially 20 damage for... I actually gotta say, I feel like the short bow was better than this. Because the short bow gave us 8 damage and it gave us those extra defense. I'm kind of disappointed because it seemed like it's definitely going to be an amazing thing and now I feel like it's worse than what we had. Yeah, this is 2 for 20. I'm, I'm going to keep the original weapon. This is not better than this. Yeah, we're just going to... Because of the moving back and forth which allows us to evade, it's actually more beneficial. I feel at least. Let's do a combat. I'm really sad about it though. I'm glad I didn't pay the money though for it. Right, who are, who's everybody attacking? So 20 damage to Timo, 8 damage to Arcus. We'll start this with second wind. Oh, that was not really useful. I guess we'll put a strike on this one. Oh no, we have to first take cover. So let's give it on the other one. Now we're going to use a trauma here, a strike, invigorating blow, and a rush. He has the marking on him, which is not overly great, but I guess it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. We do have the vigor on uh, Arcus, so we should make sure that the first card we're going to play with Arcus is actually really, really expensive. So, for example, we could use... <laughs> There's nothing expensive here to use. Okay. Well, we'll start with my other character then. We'll start with No Mercy twice. Now we can use Corrosive Enamel. Who's everybody attacking? Team Moses. We're going to use Withdraw on ourselves and move away to avoid the attack. And then we'll use Guard and a regular Strike on this guy. And then my other character is going to use a short bow to finish him off, sure. 
and then hit and run on this one. Now I believe we should evade all of their attacks. No, okay, not this one. But at least the other one. Alright, solid footing seems useful. We're definitely going to want to use that. I don't know if we... We'll start with guard and then I think we'll do just like solid footing. And my other character is going to use one guard. Set up, sure. And I guess sharpen steel? Deal 5 damage, take 1 damage. Okay. So I thought actually that uh, the guard will just be like get uh, 5 armor and take 1 damage. It actually completely changes the card. So it doesn't seem like the ruining a card is dependent on what card you ruined. It just seems like it just goes into sort of like a base. Let's use this here. It just It didn't do 12 damage. I thought it might, but it didn't. We'll do... Unaffected to where anyone thinks. Let's do tight formation to give ourselves armor. Then we'll do strike. Second wind. Give us foul wind. Well, I guess we could use the foul wind on this guy and then use bloodlust. Just to increase his poison by one. He will he will not die. It's only 22 damage, so he will unfortunately not die. So he will get to hit us here. We do have to block. So the next time this guy will die, and this one has still a lot of defense. So we'll start with Invigorating Blow. Second win so that we can use Setup for free. Strike him. Strike him again. Sure, Reckless Aid. We cannot Reckless Aid ourselves, so we're gonna have to put it on the other one. Oh, actually we can. So we can switch it and let the other guy do it. Also gonna withdraw, move around so they can hit us, and then use Bloodlust. And we're done. They're both dead. That went pretty well, I've got to say. More field dressing. No. I don't really want any of these. We're good. It's fine. We're well, another exclusive weapon. We're going to try it again, but it's probably going to fail again. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Then we'll finish the episode. I guess we'll ruin the second card. We'll ruin a regular strike, I guess. Alright, now we're gonna click on these. Switch. Deal 4 times 3 damage and gain Retaliate. Does Retaliate apply even if you don't... Um, if you have enough armor? Like, I have 20 armor and they hit me for 10. Do I still Retaliate? I think so. This is 12, but see, this is 12 damage for 2. Well, this is 11 damage for 1. We really shouldn't be upgrading our weapons because our weapons are just too good for this. Alright, well, we're going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch the next one. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.